Hello everyone. I am Nawal Yemul. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Data Master. So in this video, we are going to see how to get started with your Databricks Assistant. So for that, you need to enable the AI assistance feature that is available in the Databricks. So for that, uh, you need to be an administrator or the person those who can account or the manage account. So th those who can manage this account so they can easily enable that AI feature. So now I'm in the account console. You can just go to the settings here. You can uh, direct it from here also or you can click on the settings here. Then you can go to feature enablement and here you get an option here. So enable the third party service for AI assistant feature features. So you can just enable this click on enable and you can see your AI assistant feature will be enabled. So if you come to your Databricks uh, here, you will get one symbol for Databricks assistant. So once you have enabled in your account console, so you can just have a quick refresh here, refresh on this notebook and you would able to see the Databricks assistant symbol here. So let me refresh it again. Yeah, now you can see you got your new symbol that is called an assistant. So we got a Databricks assistant here. So you can accelerate all your work. Uh, if you have some errors and if you want to suggest a code, if you're writing any PySpark code, any SQL code, if you want a query, you just ask this assistant, same like your chat GPT and your code is ready. You can just copy it and paste it here. So let us do some hands on now. Okay, let me write uh, show all my tables. Let me write. I am just checking it, guys, for the very first time. Yeah, so they are uh, giving me an assistant to write this query. So I can just write a person SQL and I am into my Python notebook. So they are suggesting me to switch it by using person SQL and this show tables. Wow, let me run this. You can copy it, I guess. Yeah, you can copy it and paste it here. I can see all the tables maybe in the default database if I'm not wrong. I haven't selected any database. So definitely it will show you all the tables in your default database. Yeah, I can see a default database only and all the tables here. So let me write a query here. Let me write a query. Select star from the drivers table. Let me pick a drivers table here. Let me change this to SQL person SQL and execute this. Yeah, your result is here and I can see you got a driver's table here. I got a driver ID, driver name is there, surname is there and so on. So let me write a query to separate the year from date of birth. I, I am just checking guys, I don't know. So till create, write a new write a query query to get write a query to get new table and extract year from date of birth column so let me check whether I'll get a new table. So it should show me a CTAS statement with a new column that is an extracted. Yeah, you can see that beautiful. So let me copy this. Let me paste it here and see. Yeah, creating a table, table name as select. So I'm giving a driver ID, all the columns and here I'm getting extracted the year as birth year, forename, surname, nationality and everything. So this is a CTAS statement. So I'll be creating a table here with a driver's year. So beautiful, I can see that. So let me ask, uh, let me create one more query. Uh, create new table, new table showing grouped data, grouped, grouped data uh, with nationality column nationality column and count of those columns count of those rows okay 
so I uh, was very specific let me show this so I should get a CETA statement again by using a group of uh, nationality column now it is taking a long time guys so let me try some other query yeah beautiful guys now I took one or two minutes but it has executed you can see so let me copy the code here let me show you so here create again using a CETA statement create a table nationality count so it is giving me nationality and the count of that as count from drivers and grouping by nationality beautiful I'm really impressed guys so you don't need to write any code just ask this assistant and it will show you the code so now I'm trying something new yeah beautiful Say so I have written a code like write a PySpark code for ingesting a JSON file using an autoloader. So just I have written a simple prompt here to give me a PySpark code for ingesting a JSON file. And now you can just see, let me copy this and paste it here. Uh, they have defined a schema here and it's a read stream, but I don't think so. They have used an autoloader here because uh, we need to use an option called auto loader. Uh, I need to check like based on what uh, this assistance has been trained. Uh, I'm not sure whether they have an auto loader concept on this uh, large language modules, uh, but no worries. But you got a streaming code here. So you can just say read stream. It is uh, giving an option called maximum files per trigger and they have defined a schema also. Uh, actually they have done it by using the same data which I am working on I guess and again they have written that with an output mode as complete wow really impressed guys so you can see by this assistant you can ask any question you want any code in Python or in Spark or in SQL or if you want any error if you get an error you can just ask this assistant to find out the error and solve it for you I'm really impressed guys so maybe I'll make some more videos uh, while practicing. If I use this Databricks assistance, I'll definitely make a video and I'll post it on this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. If you like the content, please do comment, like the video, share it with your friends and keep learning, guys. Thank you very much.